Good morning students. On today's lecture, I'll show you how to find out area of a triangle. In my last video, I have showed you how to find out the area of any rectangle. And the formula we generate, I showed you, is length into breadth. So area of rectangle is going to be length into breadth. Now, if I have both length and breadth equal, okay, let's say it's like this. L and L so area is gonna be instead of length into breadth I have length into length so it's gonna be L square that's area of square area of a square and this is area of rectangle area of rectangle now how to find out area of a triangle let's say if I split this rectangle in two equal half by drawing a diagonal this part and that part has to be the same so what happened area of this triangle should be area of triangle has to be equal to half of area of the rectangle rectangle okay so what was the area of rectangle half it was length into breadth. So that's our area of triangle. And sometimes we, instead of putting a length and breadth, we put here base and this is height. And we, we derive this formula as half base into height. That's our general formula for the triangle. Okay, so this is pretty neat for when we have a rectangle. It's easy to understand. But what if I have any triangle such as this okay and this one i have here base and let's say height over here is given let's say it's h okay how i'm gonna prove this triangle have the area half base into height now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna join this line and this in a way so it's gonna make a right angle right over here okay and I'm gonna extend this one this side and draw a line over here so this is gonna be a rectangle okay and taking this one to be a this one to be B uh, no sorry uh, this is I have already B. Uh, take this one C so a and C since this is a rectangle then we can say B equal to a plus C a plus C this C and A the length equals to B now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw a perpendicular line over here and that's equals to H okay same formula like this rectangle area of rectangle equal to length into breadth so area of triangle half of area of rectangle so I'm gonna split this one in two different rectangle let's let's call that a B C D and this is E F now look at this triangle uh, look at this um, triangle A B C now area of triangle A B C equals to half the area half the area of rectangle A B C D A B C D you can see that using this formula okay split the rectangle diagonally by half equal parts so this is going to be half of that so that's going to be half this half from here and area of this rectangle is going to be see this is c and this is h c into h now same rule applies for area of triangle bec b e c and that's going to be half area of rectangle over here b c f b e f c b e f c and that's going to be half this half here and this is going to be a times h a times h now if i join these two triangles okay triangle a b c and triangle b e c i'm going to end up with area of triangle a e c a e c that's half ch plus half 
AH. Okay. If I take now half H common, half H, then I'm, I'm going to end up C plus A. And this C plus A is my B. So that's going to be half base into height. Same formula as that one. Okay. So this is how we find out area of triangles. So whenever base is given and height is given, always we can use the area of triangle half base into height. Okay. Uh, in next video, I'll show you how to find out area of parallelogram, kite, and trapezium. Okay. See you later. Take care.